In this section, we'll commission an actuating drive speed. We are starting in the project overview. Click the 8400 High Line C in the project tree. The device overview will open. Check whether the actuating drive speed application is selected. Our test setup is wired according to the Terminal Zero control mode. Therefore, we select this control mode. If you click the question mark, you can view the active terminal assignment. We adapt some values to our drive. We accelerate more quickly and decelerate more smoothly. For this, we change the acceleration time from 2 seconds to 1 second. The deceleration time is extended to 5 seconds. For the quick stop, we select 1 second. For the fixed speeds, we set the set points. Fixed set point 1 to 10%. This corresponds to creep speed. Fixed set point 2 to 50%. This corresponds to half the maximum speed. Fixed set point 3 to 100%. This corresponds to maximum speed. The fixed set points relate to the reference speed, which means fixed set point 1 corresponds to approximately 137 revolutions per minute. Fixed set point 2 corresponds to approximately 685 revolutions per minute. Fixed set point 3 corresponds to approximately 1,370 revolutions per minute. We are now ready to start the drive. We enable the controller via terminal. The potentiometer is active. We can use it for variable speed setting. If we switch over to fixed speeds, the potentiometer becomes inactive. We activate fixed speed 1, creep speed. The potentiometer has no effect anymore. We activate fixed speed 2, half speed. We activate fixed speed 3, full speed. Via digital input 4, we switch over the direction of rotation. The drive breaks to zero speed at the quick stop ramp and changes the direction of rotation. At the acceleration ramp, it accelerates to the speed set. The drive now rotates in the other direction at fixed speed 3. We are setting controller inhibit to stop the drive. You have commissioned the actuating drive speed application successfully. To complete the section, we'll now save the project with the change parameters non-volatilely in the device. You can then read it out again from the device anytime. Click the icon with the red floppy disk in the menu bar. Confirm the following dialog with Next. The transmission will start automatically. After the transmission has been completed, you're in the device overview again. In Section 1, Creating a Project, we have shown you how to save the project to your computer. You have completed this section successfully.